what about um, sex scandals involving mm -hmm. politicians? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just been one after mm -hmm. another, um, this endless stream of them mm -hmm. going back several decades. And it seems like we still don't really know how to handle them. Mm -hmm. And we still haven't decided how much is it the public's mm -hmm. business if people are messing around outside their marriages. Mm -hmm. So uh, where do you stand on that issue? I mean, is it the public's business? Are we, is this Americans being overly puritanical? Mm -hmm. You know, every time this comes up, it's all pointed out that the French know that, you know, people in public life routinely <laughs> have mistresses and, you know, nobody thinks a thing mm -hmm. of it. That's just, you know, um, the way of the world and that mm -hmm. we're silly that we, um, we get so, uh, you know, exercised about these kinds of things. Um, what should the standard <laughs> be when it comes to politicians who would get caught with uh, Well, the old standard, and it'll go back pre-Gary Hart, 1987, uh, which was fairly easy to understand, uh, was that it's not a story about what a person does in his private life, even though the public official, as long as it doesn't affect that person's public performance. Uh, so that meant that uh, that a congressman from Ohio uh, who uh, put his mistress on the public payroll in his office, that was a story because he abused public funds, not that he uh, you know, had an extramarital affair. Uh, but it also meant that, uh, that we uh, tended to overlook things like uh, uh, the, uh, John F. Kennedy's uh, multiple affairs while he was president. Uh, that this was ignored when even by the old standard, uh, it could certainly be argued it had an effect on his public performance. And of course, some of the, a couple of the people that he had affairs with, uh, one a mobster's girlfriend and another one who possibly was an East German spy, uh, could have been real big stories had he lived. And so, I, and also I think there's the fact that Larry Sabato of the University of Virginia points out that that the press created a, 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 a ab opposite image of Kennedy as the uh, dutiful family man when in fact he was anything but. So it doesn't give us, should not give us license to draw a picture that, is, that we know is false, which is what I think happened. Although I hear uh, from some of the people and read some of the people saying that we didn't know about Kennedy, which uh, is kind of hard to understand and other people who say that they, they were aware of it, but it was not a story. And so then we move forward to the, the Gary Hart case in 1987, where the Miami Herald gets a tip that a, uh, a woman who turns out to be Donna Rice is flying from Florida to uh, Washington for a tryst with uh, the pre possible Democratic no candidate in 88, uh, Gary Hart. I think he was leading in the polls at the time. And they uh, they spied on him, uh, and and even stopped uh, between editions on the Saturday night for the Sunday morning paper, uh, put a story in there about him, uh, uh, this woman being in his apartment in Washington, and they didn't even know who the person was. Uh, I, I don't I never did not agree with that at the time, and I have trouble with it now. And I remember Gene Roberts, the editor of our paper, the Enquirer, uh, was. You know, he felt so strongly that he didn't want to run any follow-up story. But finally on Monday, where uh, the place just, the, the part campaign was falling apart, uh, did he say, well, yeah, we got to cover that. Yeah, how could you not? Yeah, you point. couldn't. Yeah. Uh, but that changed things, and uh, of course we've had any number of stories since then. And I, I, I am back and forth on that. I, I think, for example, in the case of the congressman from uh, Wilkes-Barre, uh, who uh, turned out to have have had an affair, and the two local papers treat it in very different ways. Initially, the, the the one paper, the Citizen's Voice, didn't cover it. The other paper, the Times Leader, did. But the Times Leader felt compelled to uh, to lead the story with uh, Congress that denies choking woman. It, it's clear to me, uh, but my speculation is that she. She had a, a falling out with him and called the police. They got there and, and she just wanted it on record that they came out and found him together at his apartment in, the, in Washington uh, on a Sunday afternoon. And then later the papers all get copies of the report anonymously. Uh, and the choking thing, she never pursued it. The police said that she didn't appear to be hurt. 
it's, uh, I see it as a red herring, but yet the paper did not feel, and I, th I challenged our, our, our uh, class who's studying that, why didn't they just run a, a story saying that police were called to his apartment and found him uh, with this young woman in a circumstance that suggested that they were having an affair? Well, it's kind of like why the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, in my opinion, didn't say uh, he, he learned the deputy sheriff how to build a bomb that might have been used last night or this week. That you don't want to say things like that straight but you can lead people to that conclusion. And, and they just ran a lot of stories at Times Leader, and ultimately the, uh, uh, the, the village, excuse me, the uh, citizen's voice uh, said uh, in an effort, what I saw as having its cake and eating it too, ran a column and said, well, we're, we know all about the congressman or the politician and, the, and, and, and his girlfriend, but we're not running it because of this, this, and that. I mean, if you're not going to run it, you don't run it at all. Mm -hmm. But that raises questions of, that were uh, dealt with by, uh, you know, raised again by Howard Kurtz of the Washington Post uh, after it uh, came out that, uh, that John, uh, uh, the, 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 the Democratic Edwards? Can, John Edwards, yes. That John Edwards had had an affair with a videographer on his staff. And uh, they didn't run, a, PBS did not run a story uh, when he confessed to ABC, which had been pursuing Edwards, Edwards finally decided to to uh, to tell about it. So it was a confirmed story, but uh, but PBS did not run it. But then on Monday after the weekend, this was Friday after the weekend, they ran a story in which they interviewed other journalists about how they, why they did or did not run the story, and how, and uh, Michael Gettler, uh, the uh, ombudsman for PBS. Uh, raised the question, and uh, why didn't we cover it, uh, and why did we then do a post-mortem? Isn't that contradictory? And, and their answer was, well, he was not a candidate for anything, uh, and uh, we think that it's not a story. Well, he was uh, rumored as someone who would go to the convention, uh, it was make a speech on behalf of Obama, and there was a lot of talk since this is in the National Enquirer and all, ki and all kinds of blogs, that Obama was going to shy away from inviting him. Uh, he clearly would have been there if it had not been for this. So uh, Gettler then, it's in, which I quote in the book, lists about 12 reasons why it was a story, and they were all very convincing.